Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to be taking you through how to do a leak down test on your car by yourself. So obviously this engine bay in the Camaro is extremely tight and difficult to work in. Uh, so I'm going to show you a couple tips as to how to do this without a friend or a helper. And all you'll need is uh, one neat tool. So the most important thing here before you can do the leak down test is to find top dead center. Now, as the piston moves up and down in the cylinder, the rod also moves from side to side. So what you want to do is get this top dead center on the compression stroke, which essentially means that the rod is parallel with the bore of the cylinder. And that's so when you apply compressed air, the piston doesn't move down. So this indicator is going to show you where top dead center is by threading it into the spark plug hole. Essentially the indicator moves in and out and it will show you the maximum amount of travel and where it's got the most travel sticking out of the back, that means that you're at top dead center. So you want to start by removing your spark plugs. Then go ahead and rotate the crank for the harmonic balancer. If you listen to the indicator, you'll hear when it's on the compression stroke because air will be hissing out of the indicator. It's critical that it's on the compression stroke for this test. Next up, you're going to install the hose from your leak down tester kit. Next, you'll hook up your shop air. So you zero the gauge out essentially by turning this knob clockwise until the arrow essentially is pointing to zero on the set side. Last step here, you hook up the hose to the car and take a look at your results. So really what you want to see with these tests is maybe between five and 15%. There's interesting things you can learn by this. You can, you know, take a listen in your radiator, see if you hear air. You can take a listen in your intake manifold. I'm not going to go through all the reasons why you might want to do a leak down test. So in this case, the Camaro came out in good shape. I thought I had a cylinder head problem, but I'm starting to doubt that it does. I'm thinking it may be something else. Thanks for checking out the video and we will see you on the next one.